Hey there, this is Kelly Key, and today we're going to play Gear City, and we're going to play it around the storyline of Ransom Eli O's. And we started our company out with a fixed amount of $60,000, um, and this is based upon um, Automotive Topics Magazine uh, from 1901. It says that um, the original Detroit Vehicle Company which I know is not Ransom O's company, but I did not find a lot of information about how much it actually cost, but it said that the capital of this company was fixed to $60,000. And um, the vehicle that we're actually going to build first is the Runabout. And that was built somewhere around about 1900 and um, we have some of the configurations of the, the motor. And basically, of course, we're going to start out our factory in Detroit, Michigan. And we're going to name this, of course, Ransom Eli O's. And the name of the company is going to be um, Oldsmobile, even though Oldsmobile isn't the name of the original company. The original company was named Olds Motor Company, uh, Motor Vehicle Company, um, and it was actually in Lansing, um, and it was founded in 1897. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can because the Oldsmobile sign well, actually we're going to use that logo, the Octagon logo. So now we're in um, and just looking at some of the history, um, we're going to look at like the Oldsmobile curved dash. Now, it was a gasoline powered Oldsmobile Model R, also known as a curved dash automobile Oldsmobile, um, and is credited for being the first mass produced automotive. Uh, meaning that it was built on an assembly line using interchangeable parts and it was introduced by Oldsmobile Company in 1901 and produced through 1903. 425 were produced the first year. So even though um, we're starting it in 1900, we are going to um, go to our R&D department and what we're going to do is we are going to um, make this motor. Now this motor was a 95 inch motor. So we're going to design the engine and it was a one cylinder engine. So single cylinder and of course it was gasoline and now as far as how it was actually um, we have to probably figure out what the engine specs actually were. Um, so it was a water-cooled engine and it looks like um, flat-mounted, water-cooled, single-cylinder, um, situated at the center 
of the car producing about five horsepower. And the car overall weighed about 850 pounds, top speed of 20 miles per hour, and a planetary type transmission. And of course it was a runabout. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that as close as possible. Now, I'm not necessarily for sure how the, um, I will probably have to look up how the cylinder head was actually made for that motor. Um, so the two cylinder, now, um, So basically, it was a carbureted motor, of course, 20 miles per hour, one speed, 1564, 1.6. It doesn't necessarily say, now it costs um, $250. So we're gonna look for like the um, bore and stroke of the motor so that we can get that together. Um, 1.6 and doesn't necessarily say whether or not if it had um, what type of head we could probably try to figure that out. So two mechanically operated overhead valves were set side by side at a 90 degree to the cylinder axis and the rocker arms and roller ends. Um, So two mechanically overhead valves so we don't necessarily have that this is the only illustration that we have of a overhead valve because the rest of them I believe are under from what the diagram actually shows So we're going to utilize that, and then of course it's naturally aspirated. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the layout of the motor, and it's 114 by 152. And the stroke is 152, so what that's going to give us, that should give us, um, it says here producing about four and a half horsepower at six. So this is actually... Saying, So this is actually saying that it's supposed to be a 1.6 motor and we're approximately at 1.6. We're at 1541 cubic inch. So what we're going to need to do is 152, 114, 
Um, now this is saying that the RPMs is 443 RPM and it actually says that um, this one produced about four and a half horsepower so we're gonna have to do something probably just a little bit different so we're gonna try something just a little bit different because maybe that was because this is getting a little closer to um, the numbers so it looked like it was transposed um and 114 so that gives us a, and i'm going and i'll list these articles down in the description of where i'm actually getting the information from so this actually would give us close to about 600 rpm which were almost at about 600 rpm but we're nowhere near the um, four and a half horsepower so um, and so we're gonna try to get it closer to six hundred horsepower or yep, 600 RPM so we're at 600 RPM and And then we'll try to get it up to um, four horsepower. So the displacement of the motor is actually a lot higher. So we're at four. And it's supposed to be at approximately about a 1.6 for the Model R. So we're at approximately about 1.6. And then we'll have to reduce this down. So it doesn't quite look like we're going to get to It doesn't seem like we're going to get to um, see if we can see, but even if we get it right around about six, we're still not going to be able to get close to um, <laughs> so 
So I'm going to stick this back up to about So we're going to be at about four horsepower and and we're going to see if we can probably change the head, maybe the head. So 152. Or 114 stroke. Let's see if we can get it. See what, what happens. So we'll put this back at 114 and then we'll boost this back up to 152. And so it's the revolution. So at 600 RPM, we're still going to be nowhere near the four horsepower. Actually gets us closer. So let's reduce the revolutions. Down to about six minutes. We add about three again the displacement is of course is a lot smaller so the interesting thing is is that for our single so I'm wondering if it had to be because it's mounted horizontally So, so that's about as close as we're going to possibly get it. Um, of course, we're going to take everything down. Now later it said that there was a 1.9 at um, 7 horsepower, so which is probably closer to the specs that we actually had here. And it, um, so let's see if we could probably, but it said the Model R runabout was powered by a single cylinder. 1.6 liter engine of 114 by 152 millimeter bore and stroke 
mount it horizontally at the at the rear producing four and a half horsepower at 600 rpm later the c and b models benefited from a more powerful seven horsepower 1.9 engine and all featured two-speed transmission and chain final drive so what we're going to do Bump this back up to 600. And we're going to leave these. In a started production in 1901 so we want to increase so completion date in about five months so that'll keep us within the the, the time period um, so we're going to build the vehicle motor is going to be the, even though it's supposed to be the 1.6, but we're going to call it the 2.0 liter engine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the gearbox and we are going to produce a two-speed transmission. Now it doesn't say anything about reverse, so we're going to try to make it as cheap as possible. So we're going to build that. It's going to take about six months. And we're going to take a look at how this vehicle looks. Now, of course, the chassis It's a rear engine, rear wheel drive platform. And of course they have leaf springs on it. Now, I think that it gave the weight of the vehicle. It said that the weight of the vehicle was somewhere right around about now this one says the other article states that flat mounted so let's look at the weight And it says that the car weighed around about 850 pounds or 390. So we are currently, let's. So that motor, of course, 
fits where we're at now, but um, let's see how long the vehicle was, and it looks like. Now this article actually says 1.93, so it's just close to around about where we were at. Um, I'm going to see where the... It doesn't necessarily say... Now, the Oldsmobile sold for about $650 in 1901. And um, let's see. Let's see what the length was or the dimensions were. So the wheelbase was 17, 1,753 millimeters. So, front and rear, so it was 47 by 47. The front track was 47 and the rear track was 47. So the, that's our width. So width is 47. And then our overall length, but it's only actually giving us our wheelbase of 69 inches wheelbase is the width so the engine won't fit and the vehicle is right around about <laughs> Seven is sixty one. We'll put it up to the sixty nine. So that'll be our frame. Then the quality, everything is going to be basic. I'm going to need 
this as fast as possible. And so, now weight was an important factor of this vehicle because it was saying that the weight of it was somewhere right around about, well, the top speed was about 200 miles per hour and 850 pounds, 390. So we're basically kind of pushing it. We're at about 235 pounds for the frame. And then our engine weighs approximately about um, Two hundred and ninety two pounds, and then our transmission is going to weigh about a hundred and twenty nine pounds. So we're roughly around about <clears throat> about 650-ish or so. And so but that's not including the vehicle. So we're gonna go on and build this one. And we're gonna call this <laughs> So we got all of that together and so we're going to go back to the office and see what our damage is going to be. Um, so basically this is 1900 and this actually was produced in 1901 so we're going to be six to seven months out actually. So our frame is still going to not be available for another two months. Engines four months. Gearbox is five months. So we, given that we have a negative amount of cash. Well, let me look at something else because What's costing us? Our factory's costing us. Our branches are costing us. So I probably should have shut that down. But since I didn't, we are um, at a deficit at the moment. So we're going to have to get a loan. is going to be
so we're gonna go back out so we still have factory components. So the frame, so we still have four more months basically to go before we even decide to start a car. So we're still going to have three more months to go. So now we're going to be able to design a vehicle. And this first vehicle was a runabout, so it looks like it, of course, is just an open top coupe. Two seater hard top. We can design a vehicle and it's going to be a roadster it's an open top which that looks totally different from We're not gonna, we're gonna paint it just black. do 
gonna give it a hair bite. Didn't look like there was bite. Of course we're gonna have to give it I'm gonna give it one tail bite. And then we're also going to give it tires. That's basically it. So this vehicle seven hundred and eleven. Everything is going to be low because we need to save as much money on this as possible. Hopefully we're going to be able to sell this vehicle um, that's going to take us 44 months but we don't have that much time because we're going to run out of money shortly. Seven months or six months, but there's a lot of either we can pay forty-five thousand dollars in thirty-eight months, which is just going to be way too long because we're already behind. Because um, this car really should have been made in two thousand one, so that we could be in the peak with everybody else. It's going to cost us two hundred and seventy one thousand five hundred and seventy seven dollars, which we blew through our capital of sixty thousand dollars already. So, of course, testing and everything we're not going to do. We're just going to get in it and so that testing design. Now, this car is going to be called, of course, the. the model R. So it's going to take us about three months to finish. So hopefully in that three months time we don't um, run out of uh, run out of funds. So 
So let's see. And if this doesn't work, then we'll have to retry this at another time. So we're going to have to redo this and plan it out just a little bit different. Um, I guess I'll have to do a little bit more research because based upon the game configuration, um, $60,000 just was not enough. But that's the only figures that I could actually see. So which means that I'll probably have to dig just a little bit deeper or, of course, raise the money a little bit more. Um, because they said that the car sold for about $650, um, which is about 18722 in 2020. And, um, and it was priced below the $850 two-seater Ford Model C, which was the doctor's car. Um, and it was more expensive than the Western 1905 Gale Model A Roadster, which sold for about $500. Um, the black and the black sold for about 